sometimes it's hard to promote yourself. It's kind of programmed into us to always give way to someone else. Anytime in your life, if you're looking for a job, if you're looking for a promotion, if you're looking for anything, you're going to need to speak up and say what it is that you need or want. I have a very good friend who is a retired executive from Radio Shack. His name is Bernie Appel. He now has a consulting firm uh, here in Fort Worth. I first saw Bernie at um, the Tandy Executive Breakfast. And this is where 250 to 300 business people from all over the area come to hear a former CEO speak or perhaps a prominent alum from New York to come and, and speak. Well, there's always a networking time in the hallway right before the breakfast. I had been telling the MBA students, this is how you prepare yourself, this, you, know, you shake hands, eye contact, this is what you say. And they're all going, oh, it just sounds so stupid. Because you walk up to somebody and say, hi, my name is Pam, what do you do? It does sound silly, but that's the formula. So there were some of our MBA students there at that, at that networking time. And I saw Bernie walk in the door. I saw him, I mean, I just stood back and I watched him come in the door, he stood there for a second, looked around, and then he headed straight for somebody standing by themselves. So he, he, here he, he comes in the door, looks around, and he goes, and he puts his hand out. This man is standing by himself. So here he, here he was, and, and Bernie said, hi, my name is Bernie, what do you do? But he said, well, my name is, and he told his name, and he said, I'm, I'm a banker. And Bernie said, really, what bank? And the guy said, Worthington Bank. He said, really? Which branch? The conversation went like this until he found out something that the man had said that related to Bernie. It's, it's called the anchor of the conversation. And that's what the other <coughs> man will remember about Bernie. And Bernie will remember about the other man. You keep asking questions until the other person says something and you can go, yeah, I'm that too. And there's your conversation. And he handed him his business card. And he said, could I have your business card? I'd love to have another conversation with you and continue this dialogue. This is his exit strategy. Because you only want to spend about two or three minutes with each person. And then you want to move on and meet somebody else at a networking event. So he said, it has been a pleasure to meet you, Matt. And I, look, I know that there are other people here that you would like to meet. So I'm going to let you go. He said his goodbyes. And then he looked around. Hi, my name is Bernie. What do you do? It was formula. It was formula. Well, I noticed some of our MBA students watching, and their mouths were like, they couldn't believe it worked. They couldn't believe it was that simple. You really don't have to have this prepared speech every time you walk over to meet somebody. You just have to be curious.